They create impossible worlds, unique characters, and captivating stories. They are, of course, writers who use their imagination and creativity to foster and stimulate the minds of the next generations to come. Morning Date starts now. Yes, today I have the incredible pleasure of sitting down with two authors all the way from Canada, Kathy Stinson and Sylvia McNichol, who are here actually for the Seoul International Book Fair by invitation of the Canadian Embassy here in Seoul. So let's go to meet these two wonderful ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you've learned some oh, Korean. I'm trying. <laughs> you can try too. <laughs> oh, not, no, not, no, yet. No, not yet. <laughs> okay. Well, before we get started with the interview, uh, we have a listener's quiz. So listen up. 네, 오늘 청취자 퀴즈 나갑니다. A literary composition that comes in the form of a narrative or story can be referred to as what? Number one, chair. Number two, <laughs> sail. Or number three, Tale. 네, 이야기 혹은 소설의 또 다른 의미의 단어죠. A literary comp composition that comes in the form of a narrative, a story can be referred to as number one, chair, number two, sale, or number three, tale. 네, 오늘 아주 특별한 선물을 준비했다고 말씀드렸는데요. 퀴즈 정답과 사연 보내주시는 분들 중 다섯 분께 더책 출판사에서 빨강이 최고야. 그리고 시엔톡 출판사에서 7일간의 리셋 총두 권을 묶어서 선물로 보내드리겠습니다. All right, let's get started with this interview. I'm so excited. Well, could you please introduce yourselves? Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. Uh, my name's Kathy Stinson, and I am extremely pleased to be here in Korea. Um, I'm a Canadian author. I've been writing books there for about 35 years, uh, which sounds awfully long time. I didn't think I was quite that old, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look old at all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. You too. Hi, and I'm Sylvie McNichol, and I've been writing equally long, um, probably have around 35 books, and uh, a big fan of Kathy Stinson, so it's such a pleasure. Uh, to be here in Korea with with uh, a, a writer that I admire. 네, 저희도 두 분이 오셔서 너무 너무 재미있고 이렇게 즐거운 시간을 보낼 수 있을 것 같은데요. Oh, you're both uh, writers for children or adolescent youth, right? That's your audience. And actually, your books are really popular here in Korea already. So it's it's an amazing honor to have you guys on the show. Uh, the titles are such as 파리잡기 대회 7일간의 리셋, and that's by Miss McNichol. And also 빨강이 최고야, 아무도 듣지 않는 바이올린, 안녕 아이비. 뭐 이런 책들이 있는데요. 지금 보시면 이 표지가 정말 너무너무 예뻐요. 7일간의 리셋, 뭐 안녕 아이비 이런 책들도 있고요. 이제 이 Red is Best가 이 빨강이 최고야로 번역이 돼서 이렇게 또 출간이 됐는데 뭐 이런 다양한 책들이 나와 있는데 can you introduce some of the works for us? I mean, 저희도 이 책이 어떤 내용인지는 다 읽어보지 못했으니까 간단하게 소개해 주세요. Please introduce uh, some of them. Who wants to go first? Kathy? Okay. Okay. Um, why don't we start with Red is Best? Because mm. that's for the youngest readers, I think, of the books that we have here today. Uh, it was inspired, actually, by an argument that I had with my daughter. <gasps> Really? She was three years old. We were going to visit Grandma. It was a very special occasion. She had a lovely blue and white dress on. I was all ready with your blue stockings, white stockings. No, she oh. wanted to wear her red ones. And she won that argument. And it gave me the idea to write this story, which is still in print 35 years later. And it's really been a thrill to see it published in Korean and many other languages all mm. over the world. Just a story I wrote as a young mom sitting at my dining room table one night. <laughs> 엄마랑 딸이 싸운 것 때문에도 이렇게 좋은 책이 나오는데, what about you? Well, you, you're holding what we know in Canada's best friends through oh. eternity. Uh -huh. And that was inspired when I was a magazine editor for Today's Parent Toronto. And many people were writing me about adopting girls from China. So this is a story about a girl, a Canadian adopted uh, Chinese girl, and she makes a bad choice in the beginning and pretty much gets killed by a train and <laughs> goes to a place uh, a near heaven and learns the truth about her adoption. 
and gets another chance. So oh. don't worry, there's a happy ending here. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Aha. The 7일간의 리셋은 또 이렇게 입양에 관한 이야기라고 말씀해 주셨습니다. Yeah, there must be a lot of things that inspire you to write your works, right? Uh, you mentioned your daughter, uh-huh. but what other things inspire you to write books? I mean, do you just get inspired on the way, maybe walking one day, or do you sit down and try to come up with ideas and topics? For me, they usually just come up out of nowhere. It might be, I mean, years ago, something one of my children did. Now it might be a grandchild. It might be a story that I hear about someone at a school. For example, I think King of the Castle is another of my books that's available here. And it's about a school caretaker who's also a grandfather who decides it's time he learned to read. And that was based on a story that I heard about a real school caretaker when I visited a school in Canada. Um, What Happened to Ivy was inspired partly by um, a real uh, event in Canada. Um, It's kind of complicated to go into, Mm -hmm. but a a, a very severely disabled little girl uh, was, uh, her life was taken by her father. Um, Many believed him that it was out of kindness. Um, She was suffering. There was going to be no end to her suffering. Other people thought, no, there's no way. We can never, ever excuse someone Mm -hmm, for for doing something like that. And it was just a a news story that stuck in my mind. Mm. Now, a happier one that stuck in my mind (laughs) was hearing about when Joshua Bell, a very famous, world-famous violinist, played his violin in a subway station in Washington, D.C., and he was dressed just as an ordinary street musician. Actually, nobody recognized him at and first, n- right? No, that's right. I think out of the thousand plus people, there was one woman near the end who recognized him. She had been at a concert of his. Mm-hmm. But the thing about that story that really captured my attention was the fact that out of all those people who just hurried on by, didn't take in at all that they were hearing some of the most magnificent music in the world, the ones who wanted to stop were children. And I thought, well, then there has to be a children's story. So the ideas are just everywhere. Mm, 맞아요. Um, 책에 될수 있는 아이디어들은 정말 우리 여러 군데에 있는 그러니까 일상생활에서 찾을 수 있는 모든 곳에 다 있는 것 같습니다. 아주 좋은 말씀 해주셨는데요. Well, you guys are here for the Seoul International Book Fair, right? Yes. Well, first of all, is it your first time in Korea? 한국에 yes. 처음 오셨어요? Yes. 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 Really? Both of us. Well, Sylvia, you said 안녕하세요. Yes. Are there Korean words that you learned? Uh, uh, it takes me forever to get it in my head. You know, you have an English-speaking brain and it takes a while. Yes, but yes, you're yes. getting it. That's amazing. It I, takes I just, a while. Uh, I would have loved to take lessons. So, you know, getting ideas is just like coming to Korea. That's going to give us ideas. We know, I mean, I know going home that there has to be a Korean story. Right. And, and Revenge on the Fly, mm-hmm. the kids might be interested to know sometimes the publisher asks us for stories oh so they asked me for a historical fiction and what i don't like is when every historical fiction is about war so i found out that in 1912 around the world they had a campaign to annihilate flies because they spread germs on their legs and and this was the time when they didn't know even that germs cause disease so my main character uh, gets involved in a fly catching contest, and uh, I think he catches like ten thousand flies. The kids caught a million and a half flies. Wow, that's, that's a, a lot of flies. <laughs> that's a lot of flies. There's a lot of flies in my house right now too. Oh, 파리 잡기 대회에 대해서 또 얘기해 주셨는데요. 어이 경우는 뭐 그래요 맞아요. 출판사에서 또 요구를 하는 경우가 있죠. 이런 이야기를 해주세요. 이런 이야기를 써주세요. All right, so Seoul International Book Fair. How's it going? I mean, it started yesterday, I do well, believe. Well, we right? arrived yesterday, oh, but you're arrived. actually our first appearance. Oh, yeah. you are? Yes. This Whoa. afternoon, I will be there. Wow, yeah, that's good to come know. Come see me this afternoon. You guys aren't jet lagged? Oh, yes. all? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're up, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let me remind you of the quiz question that we had. A literary composition that comes in the form of a narrative or story can be referred to as what? Number one, chair. Number two, sail. Or number three, tail. Send us the answer 
to our Pandi Border Cacao Talk Plus, or you can text to pound 1045. And a reminder, we have a very special prize. 네, 오늘 퀴즈 정답과 사연 보내주시는 분들 중 다섯 분께 더책 출판사에서 빨강이 최고야, 그리고 CN 톡 출판사에서 7일간의 리셋 총두 권을 묶어서 선물로 보내드리도록 하겠습니다. Uh, we have our listeners who are very excited right now writing in for you guys. Bella260, Diamonim says, Welcome to Korea. Nice to meet you. Nice. <laughs> And 41 and I Neem says, wow, her voice is super bright, makes uh, people energetic. I guess they're talking about both of you. Uh -huh. You guys are making our morning very special. And actually, today's text mission is about laughter and joy. So thank you for bringing that today. Uh, 5349님 says, Our listener actually read Red is Best when uh, her children were younger. Yeah, and they loved it. Nice. And uh, she said it's probably because it's a real story of you and your daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chae Yim says, Oh, I read the Fly Catching Convention. I loved that book. Thank you for writing lovely books like these. Now I know what the title is in Korean. Because ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Revenge on the Fly in mm, English. That's right. Oh, Revenge on the Flies. Mm -hmm. oh. I actually like Fly Catching Convention. I mean, mm -hmm. it makes it so official. Mm -hmm. you know. In a way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go catch those flies. All right, let's take a song break real quick. Uh, here's Lisa Ono with Smile. We're back with our conversation with Canadian authors, Kathy Stinson and Sylvia McNichol, who are here in Korea for the Seoul International Book Fair by invitation of the Canadian Embassy here in Seoul. Well, let's talk a little more about the book fair. You guys came for a reason, right? Uh, do you have special events going on? Yeah, well, today, uh, this is Sylvia talking, I'm <laughs> going to be at the fair uh, around noon. I'll be visiting with publishers and agent, hoping that they will bring more of my stories into South Korea. And then I'll be talking, giving a general talk about uh, Canadian authors at, uh, I can't remember the time, but what's exciting is I'll be conducting a writing workshop that I hope your listeners will come to around five o'clock this evening. So uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Maybe we'll talk a little bit about my, the fly catching convention and tie that <laughs> in. Yeah. Hey, 오늘 저녁 시간쯤에 Sylvia McNichol 씨께서는 그, oh, writing workshop. 그러니까는 글 쓰는 워크숍을 진행하신다니까 시간 되시는 분들은 꼭 가시기 바랍니다. What about you, Kathy? Are you putting on any special events too? I I will also be meeting with some publishers and agents. Um, but I think the big event for me will be the Meet the Canadian Author uh, talk. Uh -huh. um, and I'm looking forward to doing that. That's tomorrow, right? That's tomorrow, mm. yes. And I'm hoping that there'll be some adults there and some kids there and that I'll just get to meet all kinds of Korean readers. Uh -huh. readers. That would be wonderful. Right. Kathy Stinson 작가님께서는 이제 내일 어, 책 사이닝 이벤트도 하시고 한다니까요. 오늘 내일 꼭이두 분을 만나시고 싶으시면 Seoul International Book Fair에 한번 참가해 주시는 것도 좋을 것 같네요. You know, times are changing, right? And more than books, uh, children are looking at tablet PCs and their smartphones. What are you guys doing to adapt to this new change? And what do you think about it, actually, first of all? Well, if, yeah, I, I don't know what Kathy thinks, but in Canada, I think we're finding that parents are resistant to uh giving their children screens um, now. Of, of course, when you go to a restaurant, you have a little child. We used to give them a picture book. Now we give them a, a tablet. But I think uh, medical doctors are saying, you know, that, that we want to keep our children uh, limited to maybe two hours of screen time a day. Uh, but one thing I discovered with my fly catching book is, you know, you can roll up a newspaper and kill a fly, fly <laughs> really well, but you cannot roll up your iPad. Mm, <laughs> true. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, uh, you guys write children's books, and we talked about inspiration, but do you know any Korean folk tales? Or, because, you know, they are inspirations for children's books too, right? I hope to find out a lot more about some of the folk tales and just the kinds of books that the Korean writers are, are writing. And, and uh, I guess as kind of an extension of the fair, one of the events that I'll be involved in is a meeting with some Korean authors of picture books when uh -huh. I go to Guangzhou on Saturday. Wow, but you guys are in good luck today because we 
here on Morning Special have prepared a gift for you. Oh, thank you. Because you guys were generous to give your books. Oh. Uh, this is a Korean children's favorite folk tales book. So they've been oh, translated into thank English. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, thank thank you. Uh, no problem. <laughs> so the next time you ask, we'll say, well, of course we do. <laughs> yes, hopefully. I actually Googled it this morning. Oh, but, you did. But I'd never heard it, and I'm fascinated by it. So <laughs> thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Well, we're running out of time. So before you go, we have one last question. This is a common question in Korea asking about the significance of someone's dreams, passion, etc. So it's a 나에게 모모란 question. Let's start with Sylvia. Sylvia, to you, what is a book? What is book to you? A book is uh, the possibility, the adventure of living someone else's life. You only have one life to live, but if you read books, you have endless lives. Mm, endless lives, that's right. What about that's you, cool. Kathy? I like that. Yeah, what is a book to you? Um, I think it can be two different things. It can be a window. Mm -hmm. It can be a window into another life, which is, I guess, kind of what Sylvia's talking about. Um, finding out about a world that you didn't know anything about, whether it's a real one or a fantasy world. I prefer the real worlds myself. Sure. Um, but at the same time, I think a book can be a mirror as well. And I think that we are all more alike than we are different even though there are many ways we can be different. And so I think a book that kind of helps us know that we are not alone. Um, mm, is, is that's profound. Thing. Oh, I'm, I am <laughs> nothing if not profound. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was such a great time talking to you two. I'm so sad that we're running out of time, but we'll go to the book fair to see you guys as well. That'd be we look great. forward to seeing you. Okay. Well, we have to give out some prizes, your books. So uh, the, the question was a literary composition that comes in the form of a narrative or story. Well, it can be referred to as a tale. So number three was the correct answer. Ho Jung Mom, Ines Nim from Kakao Talk Plus, Kim Myo Hyun Nim from Kakao Talk Plus, 4380 Nim, as well as Bong Gishi from Kakao Talk Plus, and 7918 Nim. You'll all receive the book set. Wow, I'm so jealous, and you guys are lucky. Well, thank you so much. Have yourselves a great time here in Korea. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yes, we will. We're uh -huh. having fun already. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see you at the book fair. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.